Uh, well, um, I, you know, I, I really think Hampton played very well. I thought they played very hard and were very aggressive. It was a physical game, a game with a lot of free throws. And uh, while I don't think we played great, I, I do think our defense uh, caused a lot of turnovers. You know, uh, the the time in the second half where we were able to kind of pull away and get a get a, a bigger lead or a double digit lead, I thought was mostly from our defense, deflecting passes, stealing the ball. Uh, and so I thought I saw I thought that was good. I don't think we played great offensively. I don't think we really found a good rhythm during the game. Uh, but I think we played well enough and tough enough defensively to, to win the game. Chris, uh, what emphasis, more emphasis, can you um, leave Derek as far as fouls goes and trying to stay on the floor? Yeah. You know, a, a big part of it's up to him. I, I think that he needs to. Um, you know, we got tied up there, being physical with him. You know, a couple of the, uh, the fouls were called kind of off the ball both ways. Uh, but he needs to kind of showcase his agility and his athleticism um, more because he is so talented that way and, and, not, and try not to get caught up in a game where it's, uh, you know, just a physical contest because he, he has a lot more to offer than that. Do you think his size and his strength and his appearance perhaps – he has to do more to get fired. He seems to be yeah. able to do less out there, uh, and he still gets called for fouls. Right. Are you asking me to criticize the I'm officials? not asking you to criticize the referees. Uh, he seems to be foul prone, perhaps because of his appearance as much as anything. Yeah, I think so. And that, that was kind of my first point. I, I, I think he needs to. If they see him running and moving and fluid, I think that it'll have uh, it'll have a, a good effect on not only the fans watching and but I think on the officials too because they'll see a guy who's so fluid and moving even though he's just this this big guy. I think that you know he got caught up a little bit in just trying to trying to just be a power player today and not and not showcasing his 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 versatile game. you about Hampton I mean they started three freshmen the first game they started two tonight just any thoughts on, on them sure well I, I thought they played really hard I thought they played very very aggressively um, you know last year we played them and they were a senior laden team uh, and I thought their their effort level tonight was was terrific you know and, and uh, uh, I think they have some talented players you know I, I think the guard powers is going to be a really good player uh, but really, I, I thought they played hard. I thought they were on their game plan and, and made it very difficult for us to score. Coach Mooney, can you look ahead to Minnesota a little bit and, and going on the road with this team um, and what has to happen for you to challenge out there? Well, um, you know, we're, we're going to take a look. Minnesota's a very, very good team. Um, we're we're going to need to play We're going to need to play better offensively. I, I really think we've been good defensively, uh, both full court, half court. We, we've, uh, you know, we don't really – chart anything but if we did I bet we'd have a lot of deflections uh, so I think we've been I think we've been disruptive defensively so we're going to need to kind of do that but also come out and, and, and play well offensively um, you know we, we we have very good players we have depth and just need to find ourselves a little bit more of a rhythm when we, when we start the game and, and throughout great thank you guys appreciate it um, I was Darian, who has been having more offensive success lately, if anyone? Well, uh, you know, Kendall certainly is, is a more than capable um, scorer and, and great player. And, and Derek, uh, but I think Darian's been the most consistent. And probably as he should be, he's a senior leading returning scorer. Uh, but we're going to need to have, you know, we're going to need to have good balance. And um, I think we'll get that uh, as the season goes on from our backcourt and our frontcourt. Hey Derek, the uh, the foul trouble uh, affected you in what way? Were you tentative? Were you? Uh... Uh, it wasn't tentative at all. Um, just I I, I got to figure it out. You know, it's I just have to stay in the game as long as possible. You know, um, things tend to happen. Things tend to go well as I stay in the game, and that's just something personally I have to figure out by myself. Senator, did you think the fact they haven't played in a week? And maybe the fact they played William and Mary, sort of a Princeton-style offensive team, uh, helped Tamp. Um, I'm not really sure if it, if it helped them or, you know, just 
or we wasn't ready to play. I think I think it was more we we just didn't come out like we we have been, and um, you know that, that got to change if we want to win. Uh, every night you plan somebody. Everybody has scholarships, just like us. So every night can't take anybody lightly. You got to go out there and play. Can you look forward, either of you guys, to Minnesota? Um, obviously a huge challenge, big trip, first road game, and what has to improve to challenge those guys? I mean, the things, the thing that we have to improve is uh, basically coming out with more energy. You know, first half we came out flat. You know, guys really wasn't in tune. Everybody wasn't gelling together, but we just need to come out with more energy, be more enthusiastic, and, you know, just get things rolling from the jump. Could you speak to that challenge of going to Minnesota and playing a Big Ten team? Um, you know, they're going to be bigger, uh, supposedly more athletic. You know, uh, we just have to go out there and play our, our game. We can't, we can't feed into their game. Uh, we got to be out there. We got to rebound. We're a smaller team. Everybody's going to have to rebound. Everybody's going to have to bring their A game. It's just everybody's going to have to be ready to play. We can't come out like we did tonight and expect to win that game.